The Refugee Experience in Inside Out and Back Again. Inside Out and Back Again, a verse novel by Thin Ha Lai, focuses on Kim Ha's experience as a refugee in 1975, the final year of the Vietnam War. The war was a military conflict between the North Vietnamese government, who were supported by the Soviet Union, and the American-supported South Vietnamese government. The war devastated much of the country, including Saigon, the city Kim Ha lived in. She and her family members are forced to abandon their home and board a navy boat out of the country with countless other families. On board, she hears. The whispers among adults, the bombs in the ever greater distance. She hears. Helicopters circling, circling. Above them, the people panic, certain they are doomed to perish. As the ship sails away, the captain informs the passengers that it's over. Saigon is gone. Despite the captain's bitter words, life in Saigon is still vivid in Kim Ha's mind. Saigon will never be gone. Saigon is still the city where her family sent her to afternoon and weekend classes for a better education. Saigon is still the city of bustling markets where she could buy toasted coconut, water spinach, and grams of pork for her family. Saigon is still a city of luscious land where papaya trees could grow tall and bountiful enough to feed her entire family. Saigon is the only life she knows. When the ship reaches the territory of Guam, Kim Ha and her family members are placed in an overcrowded refugee camp with thousands of other Vietnamese citizens. Like her family, these citizens left Vietnam to escape communist rule. Some hope for a better life in America, but know it could be weeks, months, or years before that better life can happen. After a period of waiting, a couple from Alabama sponsors her family and offers them a temporary home. They rejoice in the couple's gratitude, but know that their troubles are just beginning. During the 1970s, a heated period of racial prejudice, some people in the American Bible Belt resented refugees who could not speak a word of English. Kim Ha's experience is one that refugees from Syria share today. Currently, the Middle Eastern country is locked in a civil war that is responsible for nearly half a million deaths. The war has forced millions from their homes and into crowded refugee camps. They too are waiting for a better life. Many have already found one in America and European countries such as Germany and France. When they do find the home, they often face discrimination from people who do not understand their culture or purpose for entering the country. Like Kim Ha, they feel fortunate to live in a quiet suburbia where the war tomorrow is more than just a distant hope.